World Series champion Evan Carter will be the center of attention this weekend in his hometown of Elizabethan, where he will light the town's Christmas tree. He will also be honored with a parade celebrating his success. It's been a whirlwind journey for the 21-year-old who three months ago was in double A ball. And News 5 sports anchor Heather Williams caught up with Carter to talk about the last few months. What has this all been like for you? Oh my gosh, it's been a whirlwind. Evan Carter burst onto the national stage two months ago, but his journey to World Series champion started on the baseball field in his hometown of Elizabethan. It's been hard to kind of process everything that's happened. It doesn't really seem real, I guess. It's been, uh, uh, gosh, just a dream come true for sure. When he was growing up in Betsy, Evan just saw baseball as a means to an end. In high school, I was using baseball as a means to get an education at that point. Um, that was what was important to me was to be able to go to school and, you know, use baseball as a way to help pay for college. He originally signed with Duke, but in June of 2020, everything changed. Obviously knew that he would get drafted. Uh, didn't know exactly where until maybe a couple of days before, and I started getting getting phone calls from folks that were in big cities, uh, not from around here, as we would say. And that's when I knew, like, okay, this is this is a different level now. Three years later, he found himself on the sport's biggest stage. The way that things worked out this year, uh, obviously, when you when you get called up, that's kind of the goal of a minor leaguer is to get called up to the big leagues. Um, it's been just kind of one thing after another that's uh, I think has made it a little bit easier to just play baseball. It's a fairy tale start to any career, and he's thankful to the Texas Rangers who took a chance on him. If it wasn't for them, you know, believing in me and, you know, taking the chance and drafting me and kind of going against the grain of what everybody else said, that I, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. In Elizabeth and Heather Williams, News 5, WCYB.